All right, so you're new to bike racing and you might be tempted by this beautiful $400 Amazon special. So today we're gonna put it to the test and see how it compares against my $7,000 kind of over the top race bike. Dude, before you go out on that thing, got something for you. Dude, you might, you might, you need, might need, right need that. Here. Oh, dude, gotta get the ketone to get my FTP up. Yeah. Gotta get a little sauce in me. You already know. Shout out ketone. How's that? <laughs> yeah. Shout yeah, out, baby. Shout out ketone IQ Man. for giving my boy the energy required on the Eurobike. Yeah. Plus, hey, they're making they're making inroads. They're coming up. Available in Sprouts. So check out your local Sprouts for some, some Ketone IQ. Back with my boy, Mitch. What's up, man? What's up, Bell King's in the house. Bell King's, so good to be back. <laughs> so here's what we're doing. We're gonna do one of those NorCal test videos that I love to do. We're gonna test these two bikes on this course around this neighborhood. It's a set course. We're both gonna do a run on this course at exactly 250 watts of power in the exact same position. And then we're gonna swap bikes and we're gonna do the same run at the same power. We're gonna see from a performance standpoint exactly how much faster the Cervelo is. Maybe it's maybe the Eurobike's faster, who knows? <laughs> Don't think so. <laughs> EJ's saying no. <laughs> no. And then we have a special treat for you in the second half of this video, so stay tuned. First test, I'm on the Eurobike. I got three chain rings up front, perfect climbing, seven speeds on the back. <laughs> Shimano tor Torni with the with the with the blade rims ready to cut some fingers off. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> the Mark Tucker special right here, total aerodynamic, almost like down tube shifter, so you can you can get in super aero and just be like this, just clicking it and it shifts beautifully. As beautiful as a Shimano Torni can shift. <laughs> and then what are you on, Jeff? Uh, team bike. We are on SRAM Force. It is uh, electronic. It is wireless. It is over the top. This is a pretty fancy bike, especially when you compare it to the Eurobike, but it doesn't look as flashy and blinged out as the Eurobike, I will say. Kind of got that matte black look, and it is built for speed. It was like designed in a wind tunnel, all that stuff. You can yeah. go look at Cervelo, whatever. This should be a lot faster. At this price point, it freaking better be, so we're gonna go find out. It was good, it was good. I did 260, I know I was supposed to do 250. But early on, I was like, wasn't looking at the computer long enough. And I realized I was averaging 260 because I didn't look at the computer for the first like couple of minutes. And then I was like, okay, well, I'm doing 260 now. So nice. <laughs> very consistent, 260. I'm gonna be spun, I think, on the Eurobike. We're gonna talk about that in a little bit. You ready to get on the Eurobike? No. <laughs> dude, how was it? Dude, so sick, man, the Eurobike, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of falling in Shout love, out. I have to admit. I'm Shout kind of falling in love. love. Yeah, dude. <laughs> $300? Yeah. You're just yours. smiling the whole time when you're on this bike, I tell you. like <laughs> such a joy to ride the tri-spoke. You really feel it coming through when they're lawnmower blades like that. You feel that stiffness, that <laughs> that straight metal responsiveness on the ground. It's just a, it's a beautiful experience. You, you ready to hop on the Cervelo? Dude, uh, please. <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect to the Euro bike, but... <laughs>
hardest 260 watts I think I've done in my entire life. 100, 150 cadence on that downhill, dude, I am smoked. But now we're on to uh, bonus content on the channel. You might be wondering why I have the chesty boy here on. We've decided we're gonna race. I'm gonna race on this Eurobike, 37 pound Eurobike. Cause there's more to um there's more to bike performance than the actual testy stuff that we do there's like cornering and handling and accelerating and stuff like that because spoiler the cervello i did 260 watts on the course in 15 minutes 25 seconds uh euro bike i did it in 17 minutes five seconds with some uh some really quick math we just did on our cell phones that is about 11 percent slower which actually is like kind of surprising it's yeah. not that much yeah, not you pay much. an additional seven grand six grand seven grand somewhere in there and you only get 11 percent performance increase but there's more to the story than bike racing success than how fast is my bike right it's um it's actually going out there and racing so that's, that's what we're gonna do that's what we're gonna do that's why i have the chest gopro on uh, we are gonna do one lap on the course. Um, I am unfortunately on the Euro bike, yeah. <laughs> and Mitch over here on my Cervelo. No crashing the Cervelo. Do it justice. <laughs> I promise. I, I do actually. I had one thought on this last run. I had a hot take when I was out there rolling. The lower slopes, this bike handled the bumpy course so much better. There's two reasons for that. Um, one is it's it's a steel bike. Steel is is steel is real. I'm gonna get that in the comments. Steel is real. It is better at absorbing vibrations in the road. My touring bike is made of steel. Steel has a place, not not in performance though. It f did way better in the lower slopes where the road's really bumpy. And also it's 37 freaking pounds. So it like steamrolls over bumps. It doesn't care. It's got lower performance, lower volume tires. Still doesn't matter. It felt like a dream on the bumpy sections of the course. Slower than molasses, but it felt smoother. All right, three, two, <laughs> one, go. All right, and off we go. Uh, this is, um. This is like a 3% slope and Mitch just sends it. Look, I'm doing 950 watts and I'm, I'm already looking for more gears, but that's it. Those are all the gears I have. It This bike is so heavy and it it's like, I, you get used to that snappy acceleration of a light carbon race bike and you forget how uh, how spoiled you are when you're on that, on that Cervelo because it took me so much power just to get up to speed. Mitch is up there doing um, quite a bit of power, but it's nothing near what I had to do in order to get back into his draft. And it's something else. We are, this is like maybe 3% um, incline, 2, 3% incline. But oh my God, it feels like I'm doing like 10% because I am having to lug this 35 pounds of steel <laughs> underneath me up this. And, uh, and also like I have checked three more times for additional gears. I am spun out pretty much. Even though we're going up a hill, I am also spun out um, kind of uncomfortably doing 100 over 100 rpm here and eventually i don't even know if he knew it but eventually he just rides me off his wheel i told myself i wanted to make it to at least one of those ramps that are maybe seven or eight percent but no couldn't make it i am fully in the drop zone you guys stick a fork in me i am done i did end up doing something like 600 650 watts for a minute and uh, that's all she wrote. Got that breakaway on him, dude. Dude, I'm telling Dropped you, Dropped him. Bro. Let's go. Dude, that's payback, Jeff. <laughs> payback. Dude, I'm sold on this Cervelo, dude. I, and I like the SRAM setup. Like, I didn't think I heard a lot of people talk trash on it, but not bad. I like the left-right style, man. It's, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of dope. I put that, I put that heat yeah, on him. You popped so. him like 30 seconds. <laughs> I could hear him behind me. I could hear him struggling. And, uh, I was like, oh man, maybe I should light up for the content. But then I was like, nah. No, nah, mean, drive it, drive it in. This revenge for last week, baby. Woo! Payback, baby, baby. Oh, that hurts so bad. You made it look so easy. Dude. Okay, I'm, I'm selling a Euro bike. Anybody looking? <laughs> All right, so I got wrecked even faster than I thought I was going to. Shut up, bro, Mitch. Payback, bro. Dude, smash me. <laughs> um, and I had some thoughts as I was limping back home with my tail tucked between my legs. And that is, um, even if I was able to stay with Mitch on the uphill, this thing's a dog on the climbs. Like, I, it's so heavy, guys. It hurts so bad. He made it look effortless. But even if I were to, to, to stick with them, the downhill, we know there's a problem with this bike. I'm spun out. It's not, it's not geared to go faster than 25 miles an hour or so. Even if I was able to stick with them on the downhill, no shot, by the way, the cornering is sketch because it's, it's a $400 Amazon special and I just don't have any faith in the tires holding the road. To come back to our original question, should you buy this? If you're looking for a new bike my answer is no i think you can get a lot more on the used market i would look at aluminum i would look at bikes that are 10 15 years old if you are doing anything with climbing or cornering this ain't it guys this ain't it but that doesn't mean that there's not something out there for you because um the used market's great especially aluminum anything that gets butts on bikes and uh 
Mitch. Bro, thank you for having me, man. It's just course, a great yeah. time, bro. Any anytime I get to ride a tri-spoke bike, a Euro bike, it's a great day. So we're just out here having fun, loving cycling. That's what NorCal's all about. From NorCal Ooh. Cycling, what's up?